You've been lied to about color theory. Well, I mean, kind of. So the thing about color theory is that we're often taught as kids that red, blue, and yellow are the primary colors. They're not actually, but there's a reason that we are taught that. So color is something we perceive. We have three cones in our eyes. This is the wavelengths they perceive. And light has a visible color spectrum, right? Roy G. Biv. However, Roy G. Biv is not actually true. Uh, it's close, it's close. So basically what's happening is our eyes are perceiving these colors and often we are perceiving them with two different cones, let's say. So a cone, two different cones might fire to create the variations in colors. And so when we use this traditional one, so for this to work truly, the red and the blue would have to make purple and you should not be able to get red out of any of the other color mixtures. We ended up here because this was the closest to the primary that was easy to manufacture in some ways. Now there's lots of other color systems that have been used to try to understand color and CMYK is truthfully the closest. You can use magenta and yellow to create red. See, that's how it's not a primary. Also, part of the challenge is human language. So blue actually is a synonym for cyan. It's a kind of blue in our spoken language. And so what you should see in these mixtures is that CMYK is probably the closest. It's just not what we teach in school. The other huge problem is color is all perceptual. And we're only trying to get close to understanding color. We're never gonna like remix the same color. And so like, look at this green. It's the same color, but it looks different because it's next to different thing. An artist and theoretician, Joseph Albers, is the person who sort of really started writing about this. You can mix cyan and magenta and get that purple and you will never get it again. You'll get real close, like a mathematical limit. You'll get real close, but you will never be exact. What is the summary of this? There are indeed primary. They're not the ones you were taught. Well, you know, that's close enough. Roy G. Biv is close. You want to substitute cyan for blue and blue for violet. Color is a lot more complicated than we teach at the beginning because like all things, the more you learn, the more you know.